What an AEW Dynamite episode, man. Holy crap. We had a lot of different stuff happen on that episode. So let's run down a few things really quickly that had happened before the main event. Uh, we had Lance Archer versus Eddie Kingston yet again in a Lumberjack match. That one I didn't really get the chance to fully see because AEW hasn't uploaded all of the stuff yet. Uh, the only things they ever they uploaded on there was the main event match, which was Moxley, Moxley Phoenix, and Pac versus Omega and the Good Brothers, and that and then also the the wedding for Penelope Ford and Kip Sabian with Best Man Miro. And then that was it until I woke up and I saw that they uploaded the videos for Sting, Sting's words towards Team Taz, uh, Thunder Rosa versus Britt Baker, and I th and then confirming Shaq and Jade will fight against Red Velvet and Cody Rhodes in a mixed tag team match, which will be interesting. But... Uh, and that's so that's what we got down and from what I saw from each event except for the pack except for the Lance Archer versus Eddie Kingston one because I didn't get the chance to see that one the stuff that happened was Chuck Taylor got to be reunited with Orange Cassidy again getting revenge on both Kip and Miro um <clears throat> Thunder Rosa lost to Britt Baker due to Re Re Rebel cheating and taking out the middle turnbuckle and let making Britt Baker launch Thunder Rosa into the turnbuckle. Uh, there might be a possibility she actually had a concussion during that, like a, a real concussion. I don't think uh, Thunder Rosa was able to get out of that, protect herself from that very quickly. And then we also, oh yeah, we also forgot about the tag team battle royal. Uh, I forgot about that. That one wasn't uploaded either, but I did find out who the winners of that tag team battle royal was, and I got pissed off by who it was. It was fucking MJF and Chris Jericho, Le Champion. <sighs> They're gonna be fighting the AEW World Tag Team Champions. I'm, I'm actually really pissed off. I really, really, there was a lot of, of potential tag teams in there that I was hoping that would win. One of them was Top Flight. But my and even one of the Dark Order members, but my main ones that I was hoping that would get that shot would be Santana and Ortiz, cause I've seen those guys, man, they're badass. And but now sadly they didn't win. So yeah, MJF and Chris Jericho are gonna be going up against uh, Matt and Nick Jackson of the Young Bucks at AEW's Revolution for the AEW World Tag Team Titles. But I think that should be all of them. So now let's talk about the main event. Kenny Omega. Ga Gallows and Anderson of the Good Brothers. Bullet Club. Versus John Moxley, Pac, and Ray Phoenix. That one was an intense match. And it was a lot of fun. It was a cool match. Everyone really loved that match. It was pretty awesome. Having to see Mox go off on Omega. Having to see Phoenix and Pac get revenge on the Good Brothers for taking it out. Uh, uh, Pentagon El Cielo, uh, I. I guess I didn't even know that happened. Um, but yeah, they were doing that, and everything was fine. But sadly, Ray Phoenix got pinned and lost. And then that's when the Good Brothers and Kenny started attacking Phoenix, and then Mox fought back. Soon, Lance Archer came back. I mean, not came back. Lance Archer came out and started attacking the Good Brothers and. And Kenny Omega. Well, mostly the Good Brothers. After all three of them went on the ring, Kenny Omega was laying on the ground with Moxie getting ready to take him out. But the next thing you know, he gets taken out by a hooded figure who quickly reveals himself to be Kenta of New Japan Pro Wrestling. The, the, the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship briefcase hoarder. For the number one contender spot. Came to Jacksonville to take out John Moxley by blindsiding him from behind, then hitting him with a go to sleep. Holy crap, though! It was that was amazing to see. Having to see a New Japan pro wrestler, an actual official New Japan pro wrestler, leave go from New Japan to Jacksonville to attack John Moxley. And apparently, it was hidden in plain sight that he would end up actually going to
to Jacksonville. There's been a lot of people who are already speculating, thinking there's a possibility Kenta may come to, to AEW. He might go to Jacksonville to attack uh, Moxley, you know. And a lot of people were just saying that's not going to happen. It's going to be like the, those rumors for WWE. It's, it's like rumors, but never happens. Not really. Apparently, it was actually hidden in plain sight. I wish I could turn this around with rum recording, but instead I could just do this. If you look closely, right here. It's Kenta, a.k.a. Lil K. This is actually Kenta. His tweet says, Let me ask, how far from Orlando to Jacksonville? Immediately, that was an immediate idea that, yes, Kenta would be coming down to AEW. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people might have thought that this was maybe a joke. Like, maybe he was just saying this because, um, you know, other stuff. Someone replied two hours depending on the time of day and what day. <laughs> I know you're just playing with our hearts. There's a lot of people who didn't th who thought this was a lie. People Does this hallway look familiar? What? Ask to Google Earth. <laughs> uh that's dumb. But no, yeah, there's a lot of people people who were either getting teased by this and a lot of people were getting excited for this. Some people were denying it, but then he popped up and attacked John Moxley. That's the first time I think we've ever seen a New Japan pro wrestler officially head to AEW. Because the only New Japan wrestlers who actually used to fight for New Japan were Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks, but I'm talking legitimately while these wrestlers are still in New Japan. Kenta is still officially signed with New Japan and had officially gotten the chance to appear at AEW Beach Break and take everyone by surprise. So, of course, this means that there is a possibility. I think it might have already been confirmed, but now I, but I'm not sure. But either way, this seems like an official possibility now. That New Japan Pro Wrestling will now officially be in collaborations with All Elite Wrestling. Just like how All Elite Wrestling is in full collaborations with Impact Wrestling. So, so far we got New Japan, Impact, and AEW working together. This is going to be one crazy couple years with these brands, man. Can't wait to see what AEW has in store for us. I can't see what can't wait to see what Kenta has in store for Mox. I can't see, wait to see what Mox has in store for Kenta. But yeah, anyways, that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios, paisanos.